guys, this is Jack Later coming to you from my home here in Salt Lake City, Utah. Uh, Colonel Potter, MASH, and Fear. Uh, I don't know if you've seen the, the program or not. Um, you know, I grew up with MASH, and it was the, probably the most successful series of all time on television. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, there was a, an episode there that I remember that stands out in my mind. Um, and it was with Colonel Potter. And Colonel Potter, um, I think the scene was with uh, Hawkeye Pierce. And Hawkeye was facing an incredible personal fear, and it was actually preventing him from moving forward with his duties as a, as a physician, which seldom happened, but it did on this episode. And uh, so uh, Colonel Potter, helping him overcome this fear, said to, um, to Hawkeye, he said, and I quote, he says, don't let the fear make the decision for you. Don't let the fear make the decision for you. I want to show you something, uh, a fear that I face in my life. You've probably seen this before um, behind me as I work. And uh, this painting is actually a painting that my, that my mother did. Uh, she has a master's degree in art, master's of fine arts degree. And... Um, we actually lived in this home when I was really young, <clears throat> excuse me, about seven or eight years old. And, and um, this is a home that was built in the 1700s. And uh, <clears throat> during the Civil War, it was, um, it was one of the headquarters of Stonewall Jackson. And what's interesting is, uh, is uh, the, you know, I had a lot of fun at, at this house. And over here on the left, there's a pond. Okay, and I loved this pond because I got to go fishing in it all the time. And, but one day I faced a, an incredible fear at this pond. My older brother, who was a teenager at the time, had some friends over, and we were, um, and, and we had a canoe out on this pond, and he and the friends and, and myself, we were all in this canoe and just having a lot of fun. Well, I was only seven years old, and the teenagers were starting to rock the boat, and we were having fun with that, but all of us fell into the water. Well, I didn't realize that I didn't know how to swim. I don't think I had, I had ever swam before, and I actually started to drown, and it scared the day, daylights out of me, and I didn't know. I was moving around in desperation, moving my arms and flapping around like a bird and, and just out of control, and, and finally, uh, an older teenage girl reached down into the water, jumped, actually she jumped into the water and saved my life. Well, the thing is, is that right afterwards, I had a big fear of drowning. But on the other hand, I also, um, I also had a great desire to learn how to swim. I really wanted to learn how to swim. So about a year later, I, 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 I was one day at a pool, a regular concrete pool, and I would just model other people and I would watch what they did to, to swim and I would just kind of do what they would do and then I would just kind of venture out on myself, you know, on my own into the unknown and start swimming a little bit further from the edge. At first I would just kind of hug the edge, but eventually I, I would just move further and further away from the edge and within about oh, one or two trips to the pool, I finally learned how to swim, swim out in, you know, out in the, to the, to the deep end. Okay. And, uh, so anyway, you know, uh, what's that have to do with business? Well, it has a lot to do with business. We face, we face fears in business. We face fears in our occupations. Uh, you know, one of my fears was making uh, videos when I first started doing this business, but um, you know, believe it or not, you know, I'm a teacher. You would think that a teacher would make videos without any fear. Well, you know, the fear is always there. You, you, yeah, the butterflies are always there. You just get the butterflies to, to fly in formation. Uh, so I would just, I, I did videos anyway, even though I had to get out of my comfort zone to do that. Uh, so I would encourage you to do this, guys, is, is model successful behavior, successful um, people in your own business, in your own, you know, in, in this industry, and uh, and do what they do. Now that doesn't mean copy them, but model successful behavior, successful um, you know successful leaders. Now um, your comfort zone is going to equal your wealth zone. Very important that you get out of the comfort zone uh, and and make that comfort zone larger and larger and larger. Uh, think about this for a second. This is a, a formula: CZ equals WZ. Comfort zone equals wealth zone. So. Um, let me know what your number one takeaway is from this video. Uh, like, share, and comment. Um, I want to let you know um, that on, on this Thursday and every Thursday, 
Uh, we're going to have a, a free webinar training to, to help you out to be a little bit more successful in your business. Whatever success, whatever business it is, we want. I want you to be successful. Okay, so check out the webinar this week, this coming Thursday at um, at seven thirty Eastern time. Okay. And just watch your email for the link on that. Now, so anyway, go ahead and, and uh, I would encourage you to, um, when this video is done, to write down five things that you need to do this week to take your business to another level, okay? Face your fears, write those, write the five things down that you need to do, that you know you need to do. You don't even have to think about them. You know, the, the five top things that come to the top of your head, whether it's moving to the next level in whatever business you're in right now or whatever step that you need to make. So anyway, um, go ahead and, and um, like, comment, and share. See you on Thursday, and, um, and make it a great day. Bye.